YC had funded like Dropbox, Airbnb, Reddit, and so like everything they touched was just gold. But I remember we applied to YC for popular pays about a year in or whatever, or like less than a year in, and we didn't get, we didn't, we didn't really hear back. And then we applied in that little growth spurt when we first launched paid gigs, and we got an interview, and it was just a mad, like even the interview was magical. Like, how was your experience like going through? Because like, what was your experience going through YC and, and how it was for you guys? So for people listening, Y Combinator is like an accelerator program in Mountain View, California. A lot of big companies, Airbnb, you mentioned them, Dropbox, and there's a there's a ton of other ones. Stripe. Yeah. Stripe, yeah. For for me, it was really cool, man. It was like you're meeting these legends, right? These yeah. like Justin Kahn, who started Twitch. Um and Paul B I can't pronounce Paul his last name, Bouchet, Bouchet, like the founder of the founder of Gmail. How do you pronounce it? Bouchet, Bouchet? Bouchet, yeah. Yeah, Bouchet. And, um, and so you're meeting all these like legends and you realize there's two things, right? They're just people. Mm -hmm. It's almost yeah. like meeting a celebrity. Yeah. So, so you're like, oh, this person is uh, just a human. Yeah. And you realize their gifts aren't, and this is not to be disrespectful. It wasn't intellect, it was persistence. Yep. It was like they just had a vision or were super passionate and were very persistent yep. to the point of not quitting. And then you get to ask them for advice. Yeah. And uh, Michael Siebel, who's now the, the CEO, mm -hmm. he also like co-founder of Twitch, I just loved him because he'll spend 10 seconds with you and tell you like your idea is shit. Or, like, <laughs> he'll just like candidly say like, you're fucked. Like he'll draw you a curve like, this is where you think you are. And, this, and then he'll like a cliff. And he's like, this is where you're actually. So the best advice is always the ones where it's like a gut punch. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so the way I think about Y Combinator is like these guys are guardrails or I used to use the reference, they're bumpers when you're bowling, mm. Mm. right? And they're just there to make sure you don't fall into the gutter. It's good, it's good metaphor. Yeah. And, and, but it's wonderful and yeah. it's also so empowering because you realize they're just like you, yeah. right? They're, they're super like you. I remember you. Um, talking to Justin Kahn. It was Alexis from Reddit that called us to say that we were in and that's a whole other story. Like the interview getting in, it was just like a Alexis, magical. Serena Williams is yeah, partner yeah. for those wondering. Yeah, yeah. so that's Alexis. That's a name drop. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so when he called me, I was like fanboying, fangirling, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm such a huge like Reddit user alone, like let alone that, but it's, it's him. And I try to negotiate with him on like the percentage and he's like, he's like clear Jets Don't fan. <laughs> and I'll get to that. They actually helped us tremendously later in that area of like, cause we had raised a little bit of money at that point. We actually got to like 750K before YC to be that growth spurt um, in terms of money raised. So we were trying to negotiate that, but he, he had quickly had to leave and go back into Reddit temporarily. And then Gary from Delicious, Cat, the chief of staff for um, Alexis at Reddit, and then Justin Kahn were our main partners. Mm. But I always remember like interacting with Justin, for example. It was like interacting with like an older, smarter, more accomplished brother. Where like yeah, he's really driven, very clever. But it didn't <laughs> seem like with talking with them, they just kind of remind you of the basics, like talk to your users, and they'd make you better by reminding you of what to think about and. Um, checking your assumptions. It was also encouraging because they showed you how to do it. It wasn't just like, right. they're just, um, if you're ever in trouble, they'll probably just like tell you an answer to save you time, but they're always kind of walking you through it. Yeah. So it made it approachable. I do remember that sometimes, I think I went to Sam Altman one time and okay. um, he just- We could never get on Sam's counter. It was dude, always like- Sam, just, just, just like email a- email me. <laughs> he's, yeah, he, just like a, a parent would like, uh, you know, we'll walk you through, but I think we were short on time for something. He's like, okay, here's your answer. And he just, that was the answer. He like gave us the answer, and so sometimes uh, he he definitely really impressed me with with that. I remember we were unfortunately it was Paul's uh, Paul Graham's last years, mm -hmm. um, so he had just left, and Sam took over. Yeah, Sam's extremely ambitious, but some of the stuff I've learned from Sam is just like the ambition and stuff alone. Because yeah, he's a human like all of us, but. He has these philosophies like make every new project you do ambitious enough to where it makes your last one look like a footnote. And like yeah. that's inspiring. That's really inspiring. Yeah. I was just gonna say when we we had a meeting with Paul. So Paul had retired kind of yep. some way, right? And um, he like opens his office hours. Office hours is just a time for you to schedule time to sit down with Paul. And Paul hadn't been around for most of the batch. The, the yeah. batch, yeah. And so he does it. And what happens naturally is like it just fills up. The schedule fills up. So mm -hmm. we get like a four o'clock slot. And we're there, we get there like at three, we're waiting. He's talking to all the startups and he's talking to you before he's oh, talking to us. And I, I can't wait to tell you about how that went. And I was like, 
who the hell is he talking to? Because it's like 4.30 <laughs> and he's still talking to Corby. Um, and I'm like, what is happening? What are hilarious. they talking about? I'm like, this camp, why is it an hour? We're an hour in. So, do you know, I was like so excited for this conversation and I go to meet Paul Graham because he's almost like, it's almost like some startup god just ascended and he's so yeah. aloof because he just doesn't care anymore. He's, he's wearing sand, working yeah, stocks, You hear the stories chilling. about how like someone will try to mess with one of the YC startups and he just like walks into the, the company's like, lobby with his like Birkenstocks and he's like, hey, you're gonna stop what you were doing. And they're like, okay, Paul. And he's like, cause yeah, otherwise we're not gonna have you go to any YC demo days anymore. And they're like, okay, we'll, we'll stop. And he just walks <laughs> yeah, away. Totally. But he was, um, he came in for the office interviews and I was so excited. I was like, hey, Paul, do you mind if I record this conversation just so I can pay attention and I can reference it later. And he's like, do you realize your shoes entirely match the carpet? And <laughs> I was so not ready for that to be the first thing he said. And I looked down and it's kind of crazy. My shoes blended in completely with the carpet. And I was like, wow, you're, you're right. And that's how the combo kicked off. But he gave, you know, tremendous advice, but he almost was like, if you talk to Sam, he was almost like laser focused, helping you in the problem. But Paul almost like ascended to this point where he would ask me these questions, but he's like, but I mean, you know, what's what are you really trying to solve here for? Like, what's right. the, wh what are you really going for? Like, the point of life is to be happy, right? Like, and he don't almost bring it too far above like the realm of what we we're focusing on. But he gave some really amazing thoughts on how to position things. Yeah, maybe when you thought he was, uh, going I thought he was going to cancel our meeting. That yeah. was my concern. I yeah. was like, oh, he's running over. I really loved. I, I mean, I loved every minute of YC. I remember later, like a few weeks later, I was in the cafeteria for some reason. And uh, Paul and Sam were there, and wow. um, Paul's like, "You're um, uh, you're Caruso drummer, right?" And I'm like, "That's close enough, Paul. <laughs> Corbett drummy, you know, you can call me many things, but it's close. Caruso drummer. Yeah." And so um, my teammate Pete, oh, he, uh, he, people call me many things, like you know, Corby, whatever. Uh, but he's the only one that calls me Caruso still. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.